Hello, this reading is for Capricorns. Capricorn for Tuesday, February 20th, 2024. Let us take a look and see what is coming into your energy, Capricorn. Shuffle a few more times. All right. Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. We will clarify. Six of Wands is... Knight. King of Pentacles. Sun. Queen of Cups. Hmm. We'll go into the Five of Pentacles next. Gonna shuffle one more time for that. Five of Pentacles is interesting. Knight of Swords, the Fool, and the Emperor. I may clarify this a bit. And the final energy with the Ten of Pentacles, Capricorn. Three of Cups, King of Swords, Eight of Swords. Well, we could start with our, our message number one. I think I'm going to clarify the sun because Capricorn with the six of wands here and the sun and then we're dealing with like two mature you know two at the top of their um, their collective <laughs> to use that word uh, but the you know the, 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 the top world sweet pair um, an emotionally, or excuse me, um, a financially stable king meeting the emotionally stable queen. I mean, it's a perfect union, especially with the um, friendly elements here. But I do sort of feel like this is talking not so much to new people with the accolades here, but a union. I mean, more than just meeting, you know. Like, you decide you're going to be together. Like, a pre-marriage energy. I don't know, something like that. But I'm just going to clarify the sun. Sun has Empress, Four of... We have the Emperor here, too. Empress, Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles, bottom of the deck energy is Ace of Cups. So I feel, first of all, Capricorn, this sun is a very deliberate energy. I also feel with the presence of the two fours here, the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, again, this is not a new, new connection, I feel like, for what I'm pulling up here. This applies to those of you who at least are in some sort of connection with either your King of Pentacles or with either your Queen of Cups. Take your pick. But you are definitely represented as one of these figures here. I do feel that for those of you who who is in or, or who are in communication with these with that person that you will be per, excuse me <laughs> you will be progressing and I feel like the progression is um, maybe it's an engagement with this energy but these two fours tell me that this has been thought about you have known each other for some time 
and you're going to go and take your relationship further. Feels like an engagement. So that's the message that I have here, Capricorns, for the ones who are at least dealing with someone. I think you're going to progress it to the next level. Message number two. I think I'm going to clarify this as well because we have these two movement cards and first of all I would say like with a dogmatic emperor this could be that somebody just made a flash decision or a stupid decision to like ghost you or leave you alone could be that it could also be that this five of pentacles energy because this is a, it, the five of pentacles is composed of this energy. Likewise, it could also be that whoever made the decision to go away, or let's say there's going to be someone who's going to take on the role of the mediator and is going to come back fast. And that this Five of Pentacles is actually healing Five of Pentacles. Let's find that out. What are we dealing with? We're dealing with, let's see which one will I clarify first. I'm going to clarify this emperor. I want to know what is this emperor all about. Emperor has Hierophant, Two of Cups, Hermit. I'm actually going to clarify the Hermit and clarify the Two of Cups. Hermit has Ace of Cups. Two of Cups has Two of Wands. I think that's all that I need. Okay, so what you're dealing with, this Five of Pentacles Capricorn is not as bad as it could be. Or as, let's say, like normally people think it is. Um, you know, each card has an energy. And then depending on the cards that aspect it, we could go and see that energy is either amplified or it's lessened or it's in a, it's moving towards healing, right? I mean, there's a whole bunch of ways that, that a card can be aspect. This five of pentacles is someone who is going to come forward to mend the connection. Someone wants to heal this situation. This is a healing five of pentacles. This is a situation, definitely. But somebody's making the decision to come back and come back in fast. Well, as fast as they can in Knight of Swords energy. But I feel like with a fool, I don't feel as fool is connected with the timing of the Knight of Swords nor of the directness of the Knight of Swords. I don't feel that. I feel the Fool is connected with the Emperor. The Emperor is going to take a leap of faith to mend the situation. They're going to do this as soon as whatever this Emperor time is. Feels fast, but as I said, you know, humans have different different modes of priority, which affects timing, right? But know with this emperor, because this tells us it's a person coming back. Know that with this emperor, this emperor is aspected by the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, the Hermit. So literally what this tells me is there was a relationship and like this person kind of especially with the other cards. <laughs> this person dropped off to be there like, what do I want? Where do I want to go in this relationship, right? But the fact that the two of wands aspects, the two of cups tells me that this person is planning on how to go and rebuild the connection, how to meet you. So therefore in this energy right, right here, I have commitment. I have commitment, taking responsibility, wanting to do the right thing according to whatever, you know, 
whatever bureaucratic body is the right thing to the emperor. And know that in the hermit energy, we have the Ace of Cups. So to me, this is the hermit that made a breakthrough. The hermit's coming back. Hermit is coming back to pursue... I'm assuming it's romantic because we have the two of cups here with the ace of cups. I would say the other cards here are not, I mean, and then we have the, the hero font. The other cards are very, except for the full, kind of dry. So you could be dealing with somebody who is a little dry or have dealt with someone who's a little dry. Know that somebody's going to come back into your energy. They have thought about it. They're going to come back as fast as they can. And I feel they're going to be direct about about what they'd like with you, Capricorn. And I also feel that they're going to put themselves out on an uncharacteristic limb. Because I feel that person at the heart is someone who's a little, you know, totalitarian or something like that, like my way. You know, I, I know it's right. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's emperor energy. They're going, I rule. And then with that full energy, the person's taking a chance of going, of, of having you say yes or no. So they're taking a leap of faith there. Okay. Our final message. Ten of Pentacles by these cards. I almost want to see what's behind what this King of Swords is all about. So let me just see that. Let's see what kind of energy this King of Swords is in. Queen of Swords. Well, Capricorn, I don't know if you're dealing with an air sign or just somebody. Kind of feels like a dry individual just by the energy alone. I think this person internalizes a lot. The King of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Swords. To me, this doesn't even feel like a clarification. This feels like somebody wants to come forward for a conversation. And then the fact, too, that we have a matched pair. And we have these cards. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. I mean, this is, again, another representation of family. The ideal family, your life partner type of family. Eight of Swords tells me this person is up on their head. I think they have insecurity issues. Or they could have insecurity issues about the way they've handled things, since we're dealing also, too, with Swords energy. they going to let themselves be led by emotion, Capricorn. Come back into your domain. That's what it feels like. All right. Those are the messages I have for you, Capricorn. Let me know if they resonate. If they do, like or leave a comment. And if you'd like to see more of my content, do subscribe. To those of you who already subscribed and to those of you who my readings resonate with, thank you. I appreciate your time and I do appreciate your energy. I will be back with another video tomorrow and until then, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.